All right, grasshoppers, we are putting together an open stance course. Share some sprinkles with you. Open stance means we're in opposite stances. Here's one of the drills that we have in the course. They're for you to share and hopefully get a better understanding of the arts. Stay. So we're in open stance means we're in opposite stance, okay? And I am all about having proper balance and coordination with our body. That's one of the main things martial art teaches is your self-awareness, okay? What I want to do is make sure I'm staying alert off of this kick. Boom, and put that power into my return hook. I'll bring this leg back. If I lock my core, and bring that back into a hook. There's many things I can do, but this is one thing that we do quite a bit in our system, is a returning hook. We call this a returning hook. Now, what I want to do is I want to attack this returning hook when he throws his cross. Boom, and I want to slip my head to the outside of his cross. Boom, and a lot of times when people throw that cross, their lead hand is down. This is, I actually have a knockout with this. The guy threw the cross, I clipped him on the his way down, I was looking at him as well. Hopefully, I probably, looking back, I wish I would have had, hit him with that knee because that wasn't a good night. Uh, the good night was actually a hook, but a little bit of extra comfort in there. Anyway, one thing they do is on that cross, they drop the lead hand. Boom. So I already know that. Let's not be there for the cross and attack that opening. But why is he going to throw the cross? Well, a common counter to the body kick is the cross. So there goes our return hook. So we're tying these two things together. One, I'm pinning his arm to his body with the kick. And I know he's not going to throw the punch until that kick's gone. But as the kick's leaving, I'm going to tie that momentum into my returning hook. So this is a very common counter to a body kick. It's a cross. I know that, and that's one thing you should do. If somebody kicks you, block and counter with the cross, okay? We're working one step ahead right now. We're trying to bait their counter. So you don't have to hit an actual solid kick. If I hit a solid kick, I'm going to put a little bit of power into it. I'm going to put him on his heels. He won't be able to throw the cross back as effectively as he would like to, okay? So with this kick, I'm just baiting his cross. I'm gonna just attack the kick, and have a quick return, and I'm gonna dip my head out of the way of his cross. Boom. His kick might be coming back, so we have to be ready to block that, okay? But as I'm returning back, boom, there's my hook, nice and light. And he's gonna have the lead hand up, and I'm just gonna touch my hook to take care of each other. So I'm gonna touch the kick, boom. The time that I exit that kick, is gonna be double the speed of the actual execution kick. Boom. I want that to be quick. It's gotta be as quick as it needs to be off his cross. Boom. Right there. Boom. Right. Boom. Okay. okay, so we switch rolls now. He's gonna kick me, I'm gonna throw the cross, and come back with, Boom. check up. You make it wide. Beautiful, so two more. Nice. So again, we're countering their counter with a returning hook off their cross, setting it up with our initial body kick. This is actually pretty high level, but if you watch sparring and fighting, if you spar, if you fight, this takes place quite a bit. Invite their cross, slip outside of it. As you're slipping, your body's in motion, you might as well tie in a strike. This is a sample for open stance course. Stay tuned. Thank you. Our goal is to spread martial arts to the world and positively impact as many lives as we can for many years to come. In order to make Bang Muay Thai more accessible to everyone, we launched courses.bangmuaythai.com so you can learn all of our BMT techniques. And if you own a school and want to become an official Bang Muay Thai affiliate and teach our tried and true curriculum, our link is in the bio.